Hello there everybody in YouTube land and welcome to the Mr. Sin channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at the cultivation theory. This theory analyzes the relationship between the media and you. Who has the power? Is the media manipulating how we see reality or are we controlling what the media talks about? All good questions and the answers are all coming up. This theory was created by George Gerbner and his colleagues. And this theory is a little bit different than some of the other theories that we've talked about on this channel before. This theory viewed the audience and the media almost as equals. Not quite, but getting there. Now what's happening here is the media is reinforcing what the audience already believes. The media is not telling the audience what to think. In fact, the audience goes out and it seeks media that is going to reinforce their ideas. And what starts to happen is those who that are consuming a lot of the media are going to start to see a distorted view of reality. See, here the media has power over the audience, but it's small and it's gradual over time. The more you consume media, the more you're going to be impacted by it. So if you're consuming it less, well, you're not going to have as much of an impact. And this isn't going to happen overnight. So one example of this would be you do not like immigrants. So what you're going to do is you're going to go out there and you're going to search for information that is anti-immigrant. Or if you don't like President Trump, you're going to gravitate to more of the left-leaning media outlets that'll bash President Trump. And that will then reinforce your worldview. What happens then is you start to get a heightened sense of reality. It starts to change. It becomes distorted. You start to only see one perspective and you start to become more and more passionate, distorting the reality there. There's other forms of media you could be taking in. You could be taking in media that promotes President Trump and talks about the great he's doing. Or you could talk in media that's going to talk about immigration in a positive manner. But you decide to choose more of the forms that will continue to support your ideas. And a lot of people do this. This is the cultivation theory. The more media you start to take in, the more we are consuming, the more it is going to impact us. And the more it's going to shape our minds. It's not telling us what to think, and it's not telling us how to think, but it's reinforcing our preconceived ideas. And it's making them stronger, and making it harder for us to engage in discourse between other people that have different views. South Park did a great parody of this theory. It started off with Tweak being paranoid that kids were no longer safe. We can see at first Tweak is consuming a lot of media. In another news, another school shooting has taken place this time in Idaho. As these kinds of shootings increase, one thing becomes clear. Your children are not safe at school. Oh God, change it, change it. This was the second time a terrorist threat has been made on a theme park, leaving everyone to realize the children are not safe outside. Oh, God, change it. And it seems there's a new danger to look out for, children who are taken by strangers. The bottom line, children are not safe in their own homes. As you can see from that clip, as Tweet consumed more of the media, he became more paranoid because he kept seeing things that reinforced his worldview, thus heightening his preconceived notion and making it a distorted reality. He became convinced that even being inside his house, he was not safe. One, please. Wait, that's not the usual ticket ticker guy. So? So I don't know him. You relax. You relax. What if he wants to kill me? In this clip now, we could see that Tweak is actually changing his interactions with people in society based on what he now believes is a reality. The reality is, the movie ticket holder, they were completely fine. However, because of everything he has consumed, his original idea that he had has been heightened, and now he has become even more paranoid. It seems like everywhere I turn, someone is out to get me. That is the world of the news reports. It is the world that adults preoccupy themselves with. But it is not the world as it is. Even though all the news is about murderers and abductors, those kind of people only make up a very small part of the world. That's right, lad. As we can see, South Park did a pretty good job of explaining this theory and what happens when we consume too much media. At the same time, though, this theory has been criticized due to its simplistic nature. It oversimplifies some pretty complex things that are happening, and everyone differs in how they're going to interact with the media. So let me know in the comments below, though, what do you think of this theory? Is this theory happening? Is this how the relationship between the media and society is? Or are people more willing to go out of their comfort zones and engage in other forms of media that might not reinforce their worldview? Thank you for watching this video. If you found value in this content, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I'm Mr. Sin, and until next time, I'll see you online.